So let's start by assembling the power supply. First, we take these little strips of uh, thermally conductive tape. They are adhesive, so it's very easy to work with. Put them on here to cover all the metal here. No metal must can be exposed. Something like this, it's fine. And on the other side, so just so all the diodes are completely covered with the tape. And in the center you have a little transistor. This is for regulating the gate, dro gate driving supply. This one should also have tape, so it should look something like this on the back. And now we can uh, start fixing it to the bottom plate, like this. Well, I forgot something, didn't I? Yeah, have to mount the <laughs> capacitors. Capacitors have a stripe on the side like this. On the other side, there's nothing. This refers to this pin here on the bottom, which is the minus pin of the capacitor. Whatever you do, don't get this wrong because it's going to explode. So it's going to correspond with the white marking here on the board. So it's going to be like this. And the other one, exactly the same, like that. Just give them a good squeeze in there. They're not super fragile, so now it's time for soldering this stuff here. Have a little bit of solder. Don't use a super small soldering tip for this. I'm using like a two millimeter soldering tip, it's fine. Just give it a good heat here because you want the solder to seep all the way inside the middle of the hole here. So it has good connection to the middle layers where it's, it's really connected. Yeah. Like that. And you're good to go. It's gonna look like this. Okay. Now we can start fixing it to the bottom plate. And the holes in the diode should match up with the holes in the in the metal plate. So we take out the screws here. And we supply some M3. Uh, stainless steel unmagnetic screws here, so just to get the best possible sound quality. Take a small screwdriver and place uh, the circuit board on top here. Just find one hole in the in the corner where it all comes through like this, and then we have position for the first screw should be mounted from the bottom like this and then you take like a locking washer like this and so now it's time to tighten the screws a little bit don't uh, break your arm doing it but uh, they should have a bit tight open here this, all of them, and now our power supply is ready for use. The other screws here are there for tightening to the bottom plate, we're not going to use them. If you're making your home amplifier, you should definitely use a fuse and probably also like main plug, IEC plug like that. But for this test we're going to be here all the time, so we don't bother to put a fuse in between. If something goes wrong, we just pull the plug out right away. Next we're going to put this plug, they're all the same, so I'm just going to put one of them and connect it to the transformer. It has four wires and we have four terminals, so which one goes into which? Okay, let's have a look at the label here. It says uh, the first secondary has the colors green and red. Okay, so connect green and red. doesn't matter from which side, because you might remember, as I said before, we have two rectifiers, one for plus and one for minus, so which one goes for plus and which one goes for minus, doesn't really matter. So, you see the first one says GNRD, that's green and red, right? The other one 
It's this brown and blue B in, B U, right? And that's just the two colors we have left. So green, red, brown, blue. Simple enough. Green, red, brown. Yeah, it's the same connections. This one. So that's just a coincidence. You can, you can find all kinds of colors in these transports. So okay. So now we're gonna make a wire to connect the power supply to the amplifier. And for this, I'm gonna use a bit of wire. First of all, you should know that. The shorter this one is, this wire from the power supply to the module, the better sound quality you'll get. So you, you don't want to go more than like 10 centimeters in this one. And I'm just going to make this one 10 centimeters long. Because usually that's enough. I would say the safe limit is like 25, maybe 30 centimeters. You should definitely keep it shorter than that. And, and that's going to work fine too, but uh, just to, to optimize things, um, 10 to 15 centimeters is fine, which is 4 to 6 inches. We don't use inches in Europe. Okay, so I took one piece of standard wire, which I'm going to use for the gate supply, which is very uncritical, and I took three pieces of high quality silver plated wire which would probably have some effect on the sound quality so it should be should be pretty good okay so now i have three bits of nice wire and one bit of standard wire so let's connect this to the module and I printed out this little drawing from our website, it's from the NCDX page. What you can see here is the four power connection you have to put in here. The top one is VG, which is the gate supply, the one with the standard wire, V minus, ground, and V plus. Okay. You can also find this information if you download the NCDX cookbook. But I'm just going to go from this one. So you could put the plug in the, the module here. It only goes one way, so you don't have to worry about that. And the top one is our piece of standard wire. I always start with that one because then I can remember. The other three ones are... You have to give them a, a bit of a good tightening, these screws here, because um, the wire can fall out if they are too loosely attached and this piece of wire here plug in one end only it goes in like this and you can see if you compare with the drawing the red wire is on top which is the gate supply uncritical wire let's connect the other the other end I'm gonna take this one which was supplied with the module but it's it's still the same as the other one from the, the power supply, so it doesn't really matter. So here we do a little bit of magic because connections here are exactly the same, except you turn the plug 180 degrees around. Like this. Of course some nasty sparks. So this is what it looks like from the side. Just straight one to one. But as you can see, the plugs are reversed like this. So, this goes like this, and like this into the module. Now it's twisted. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to be connected. Right? Okay, 